In this tutorial, we will teach you how to create a data source in MS Word 2010. To create a data source, you will need to type the information in tabular form. For this purpose, go to the Insert tab and click on the Table option and then select a table. In the video, we have selected six rows by one column table. The first row consists of headings according to which you will add data in the rows below. In the video, we will add headings such as first name, last name, address, city, state, and zip in each column one by one. Hit the tab key when you reach the last column and a new row will be inserted below. In this new row, type the name and the other related information of that particular recipient. Once you are done with the data entry process, you need to save this document file. Insert a name for the file and click on the Save button to save it. In the video, we saved it by the file name Contacts for Later and saved it in Word document format. Next, open up a new blank document and go to the Mailings tab. Here, in the Start Mail Merge section, click on the Start Mail Merge drop down button and select the Letters option. Once done, go to the Select Recipients button and choose the Use Existing List option. Browse for the file on your computer and click it open. Once done, a new button will appear in the Mail Merge section by the name of Edit Recipients List. Click on the button and you will be able to see the data for your contacts.